Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe. It's been a while, but here we are once again in Distant Worlds Universe. Uh, with that all being said, let's get right on on it. We're doing uh, the Extended Universe mod this time. Uh, well, actually, the Beyond Extended Universe mod. Uh, so a lot of people said, hey, Ice, you should use the Extended Universe mod. It does a lot of cool stuff. New races, new techs, new, new interesting things. And I said, cool, that sounds cool. Um... But then I discovered there's this Beyond Extended Universe mod, which is like the Extended Universe mod on steroids. It has the Extended Universe mod, but with more stuff. So we're going to just play with the uh, Beyond Extended Universe mod. It is an alpha. Um, there are some weird things. We'll see. It'll be fun. Um, we're going to use Varied Clusters this time instead of uh, uh, Spiral because, you know, I want to do something a little different. I'm going to keep the uh, Colonial range down because I really like restricting the ability to uh, rapidly expand. Uh, we're going to play as the RK, which are a machine race. They have lots of cool abilities, um, with, including the spies and the cheaper maintenance. Uh, they also have faster, tr they have troop regen, they have stronger spaceport armor, their ships construct faster, their, their ships can be bigger. Um, we have special techs in the super laser and the particle mirror unit, uh, which is cool. Um, and we can't be uh, a bunch of governments. We start with the special government of uh, Superlink, which is a cool government. And we're not going to call ourselves anything. We'll let them... Actually, we're going to call... Oh, I, I should point something out real quick here, which is that our native planet type is ICE, which is what uh, I am. So this is we're going to be the ICE crown. That's what we're going to call ourselves, the ICE crown. Horrible name, but that's what we're going to call ourselves. Uh, we're going to just leave everything else as is. Disable Shakturi. Just making sure that's good there because we don't want the Shakturi to accidentally show up in our game. And off we go. So uh, I will see you all once the game is started. All right, so here we are. We are the Ice Crown. Um, we are apparently on a moon just looking at this giant gas giant right here. There's another gas giant right here too, which is kind of cool. But yeah, we are the Ake. We are playing uh, as an empire called the Ice Crown. Let's just see where we started. Um, we definitely started on a moon. We are, like, right in the galactic core. Holy crap. This is a cluster, although this cluster sort of drifts into this bigger cluster here, so we'll see how that goes. We started in the Otapo system. Um, alright, cool. So we'll just get right in on it here. Um, just start going. We can start at speed 4, probably. There's no reason to slow down. We got lots of exploration ships. Um, one thing we probably... Oh, we already got a breakthrough. Uh... Oh, and we've learned about some pirates. Let's... T one thing I should have pointed out when we were when I was exploring the, the, the race is how bad they are at colonizing things. Um, so we should probably move to be able to colonize something in the near future here. We have generic... Col oh, this is, a, this is an interesting a change that they made. This is really interesting. Advanced colonization. Massive colony module, volcanic colony growth rate doubled. Um, I need enhanced storage to get any of these though. So the next thing we'll get is enhanced storage. The only one of these that doesn't isn't at super extended rate, besides ice colonization, which we already have by default, is marshy swamp. So we'll get marshy swamp after that, and then we'll get open trade network because uh, getting those th those trades right away is good. The other thing I think I'm gonna do is um, focus heavily, I think, this time around on projectile weapons. So that's what we're going to try, a little something a little different here, by going for the projectile weapons. We also want to get the better hyperdrive, better shields, um, better reactors as our uh, research goal. So we'll get that done. And we're also going to have take our, uh, our spies. Um, we only know about these guys. We're going to steal from them whatever we can. Um, Enhanced construction. Oof, not a great chance. I'm assuming you both don't have. You both have the same bad chance. All right, so I'm gonna send you to try to get um, enhanced construction. And hopefully you get lucky. And I'm gonna have you steal territory map, and that should probably have a pretty good chance of success. Yeah. All right, so do it. Hopefully one of the neither. Let's, let me rephrase it. Hopefully they both don't die. <laughs> that's hope. That's what we're hoping for. We're hoping they both don't die. Um, anyway, this is our, our capital, Pre-Heis, Pre-Heis. 
Um, and then we'll have to upgrade our, our ship designs and do all sorts of cool stuff from there. But for now, we're doing okay. I mean, it's a good start. Don't have anyone, like, breathing down our throat right away. We started with a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, exploration ships. In fact, what I'm going to do is build... Actually, I'm going to build the two more construction ships that they're asking for. Because construction ships are really good. Um, especially early on. Wait, you're under attack from a, from an Ardalus. What's an Ardalus? Holy crap, I've never seen one of these before. Although I have, I had read about them in the uh, game files earlier. So that's a new one for me. Jacanta Ivory Discovered. Sweet. This looks like a, uh, that's an ocean world. Barren rock. Okay. I'm me mechanical. Why can't I just colonize everything? That seems like a reasonable question to me. Doesn't it, guys? We've encountered a new empire. The UA... The, the Ato Atopa clan. Oh, they're more pirates. Pirates! The Atopa clan. Did you not um go do stuff? And you as well? Please, go run around. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. All right, good. So we've completed enhanced construction, which will help us build more ships. This is an interesting thing. That thing just got highlighted. Is that telling me that I have, like, something not being used? Well, that's kind of cool. I feel like that just came up. Or maybe, maybe I'm just smoking the weed? I mean, it's always possible that I'm smoking the weed. All right, cool. So we got enhanced construction... Um, we're building a lot of uh, good stuff here now. There's a giant cow tour somewhere. That's the Otapo clan. We've completed our research on um, projectile weapons. Beautiful. Uh, let's look at our ship designs. These are some interesting designs. Our maximum ship side right now is 400, which means the only designs we could build... Wait, what's this M484? Does that mean, is that our modified because we get that bonus? I think that is, which is why we can build all the way up to 470. Let's see what we get here on the 470. We get 10 standard armor, a Garrick's hyperdrive, um, lots of fuel. We could go five sectors, uh, 60 firepower, with a bunch of Maxos blasters. Um... How many, what shield do we got? We got 700 shields, which means we should have seven shield, or yeah, we got seven shield units around here. And then if we get the, um, what if I add a just basic, it's a particle mirror unit, stealth. Hmm, I'm going to look into that particle mirror unit here in a second. But I, what I wanted to get was this long-range gun, which completely bypasses shields. Um, it only costs six. Um, 482. So the big problem right now, yeah, I ran out of size. And the other big problem is, is that this is 111 firepower. Uh, we only have 150 excess energy, so we wouldn't be able to sprint and use these at the same time. But even if I remove them, I don't think currently we'd be able to sprint. Yeah, we wouldn't. So we're just gonna, we're gonna add those long range guns back in. Okay, cool. So we're gonna keep this save for now. We're gonna really consider having more um, ships with rail guns on them in the relatively near future. Because I think that I think that might be an interesting strategy of very heavily rail gun rail gun blaster strategy. We got a new scientist. Good for us. Um, in fact, it may make sense to build here a um, build at moon, maybe a, a research center. Um, the research I really want to work on is high tech, I think. So yeah, we're gonna build a research center. Where we get all this money? I don't know. Kind of weird. So yeah, we're gonna build ourselves a research center. It's nice that they put this like right in on it here. Um, did you, did you actually show up here, or did you just say you wanted my money? You just said you wanted my money. Okay, cool. Um, let's uh, move our guy. We've encountered 
Oh, this looks like a real empire. Um, oh, looks like one of our guys died. That's too bad. I want you to be, to go to the, um, what did I call this thing? Otapo Station? So yeah, you go to Otapo Station. Beautiful. And then who did we just encounter? The Combined Nensguth Empire. They're not pretty happy with us. Um, and we don't know where they are, I don't think. Is that correct? We don't know where they are? Yeah, we don't know where they are. Hmm. Okay. We have discovered the stone nexus of Kila in the on the desert moon blah 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 in the Kila sector. Investigate them. And look, we've learned about the Shaktiri. Uh, I recommend you guys read this if you don't know about the Shaktiri stuff, or just watch my uh, you know, some of my early my first suit playthrough, to be exact. We've also encountered the, the fearsome outlaws, and we have stolen information on um, enhanced uh, construction, which we already had. So let's talk about the uh, the Keskudan realm. Seems like a real empire as well. Steel research. You don't have anything. Steel research. You have um, structured research. So we'll get that. Beautiful. Where are those guys? Do we see these guys? Oh, they're down here. These guys are our main rivals, the Cuscudon realm. Oh, and they're extremely aggressive, which is not good. Not happy that they're extremely aggressive. Because that probably means I'm going to have to build some goddamn ships. Okay, we got the better hyperdrive, so are, are our ship designs automatically upgrading? So if I edit this, did you upgrade? Oh, the Garrick's hyperdrive automatically upgraded. Because it was, it's the one that got it. Okay, that's just dumb of me. Um, because that was an upgrade to the Garrick's hyperdrive that we just finished researching. Sometimes I'm dumb. Sometimes I'm dumb. Whoa, this is weird. This is weird right here. You guys see this right here? Don't think that's supposed to happen. That's okay. Um, so yeah, we got the enhanced hyperdrives. We got the railgun weapons. Uh, this is an enhancement to the ray. Oh no, long range gun going to rail gun. Went. This is going to go to heavy rail gun, which remains. And then we get to massive rail gun. Okay, I got it. I got it. I understand what's going on. And we're going to need to upgrade, edit our designs. The Mark II has been completed. If I edit the design. It up automatically upgraded these to rail guns. Okay. 74 firepower. Um, and then what about gushing missiles aren't for Oh, I wanted to look at this stupid particle mirror thing. I'll do that in a minute. So we'll cancel that. Um, let me uh, edit this design as well. And if I so you're using 68, so yeah, if I put in a, a couple rail guns. One, two, three, right? Four? 92 plus 60 is 152. Okay, cool. Cool, so you got almost the same amount of firepower, uh, uh, but you're faster, not as not as defensive as the cruiser. All right, cool. So we'll just chill there for now with, with those two designs, and we'll probably upgrade them in a little bit. Uh, there was something else I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, I wanted to look at my research again and try to figure out what the hell that uh, that thing was. No, don't do that. Um, also, apparently, I have access to super beam weapons, but not to antimatter projection intensification, which is ridiculously strong. Man, I need to be lemurish. Look at that. 20,000 damage. Doesn't fire very quickly. But it has ridiculous range. 
this actually has longer range, and I can't use enhanced super beam weapons because I don't think I'm the uh, right race. And this is also a cute, ridiculous weapon. Hmm, weird. But what did I get? What was that thing I got? Um, some sort of stealth. It's probably under. Uh, if I had to guess. It would be under here. I'm just sort of perusing what I already have done. Particle photo adaptation. Particle mirror unit. Stealth rating 700. Stealth rating 500. Stealth rating 800. Stealth rating 930. Interesting. I wonder if there's any um, there's any like uh, information on that stuff. I'll have to look into it. Oh, we uh, enhanced shields got slowed down. That's too bad. That's real too, really too bad. Ocean Moon won't be able to colonize that anytime soon. And we've discovered a Keskadon colony. So what's this this thing mean? What does this little icon mean? Does that mean there's some place in here that could theoretically be colonized? Frozen gas giant. There's a volcanic moon in there. So yes, there is something there that could theoretically be colonized. Um, and then what's here? This is a, uh, a world of Keskadons. So I could try to come in here and conquer this planet. And just take it. I only have one troop on there, so maybe I'll do that in the relatively near future and get the Keskadons on my side. The Keskadon homeworld has to be somewhere in this region, just given the fact that uh, that this is their territory. So yeah, maybe real quickly here I'll conquer me some Keskadons. Let's um, we've got plenty of, of ground troops. In fact, let's just get a few more, and I'll also um, build here. Build this spaceport here. Um, build a new ship. Let's get a couple of troop transports. Do I not have any warships? Or oh, here's one. I have this escort ship right here that's using all its fuel up. Just move there. All right. So the troop transports have done done. Oh, you say I should be building a colony ship. Where do you want me to build this colony? Why doesn't say I can't build a colony? I mean. I clearly can build a colony here, but what's confusing is it doesn't, it's not listing this as a colon, colonizable location, but we will build a colony ship. Get that colony ship underway. We'll also, um, what are you? You're an exploration ship. I don't care. I want exploration ships. Is there a way to control click here? Does that work? No. Um, God damn it. Ships and bases. Military ships, new fleet, first fleet, beautiful. Then we'll come here to show fleets, first fleet. Um, load troops at Pre Pre Prehute. This should be more than enough to go and conquer that planet, which we're gonna go do right away. Look at me. Oh, did they didn't get it already? Did they? No. Go conquer the planet. Hee 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 hee. This is gonna be mine. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> That's my little, uh. Um. I don't know, like. Giggle of, of, of hilarity. <laughs> of, of mischief. The giggle of mischief. That's what I'm gonna call that. Are you done? That you're still stealing research. They have hilarious names because they're they're. I'm guessing this is not by accident. This is actually supposed to be because they're like a. What do you call this? A mechanoid. That's the word I'm looking for. Hee 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 hee. Gonna take your planet. Hee 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 hee. I blowed your planet up. What is thy bidding, my master? 
It's a disaster. Skywalker, we're after. Gangster rap, always awesome. Provided improvements, enhanced storage. Sorry, but this planet's now ours. Boom. Hello. This is now ours. I will definitely um, garrison at least five troops. Our planet, not your planet. Um, 40, 400 million people here probably still needs a uh, smuggling mission. And this is now our system. And we've taken the associated nearby systems. <laughs> I'm going to have to build defensive ships, though, to counter uh, what we've just done. So we're going to do that right away. Um, build order. I should probably check to make sure my designs are up to date, but we're going to end this episode first. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. On the next episode, we're going to build some defensive ships and get ready to defend our new place because uh, those guys just to the south are probably going to want to come in here and be like, we like those people. We're going to uh, to conquer them, try to take them back because they're our friendly people. But that being said, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this new Distant Worlds playthrough, and I will see you all next time.